I'm a survivor of domestic assault and narcissistic abuse turned abuse educator. Most people are aware of the common forms of physical abuse like hitting, punching, kicking. There are many other tactics though that abusers use to control and intimidate their partners. Strangulation is one example that is incredibly dangerous and can lead to serious injury or death. Strangulation is often used as a way to exert control and instill fear in a partner, and it can sometimes be undetectable to others because generally it leaves no visible marks. Even a brief period of strangulation can cause brain damage or death, making it one of the most dangerous forms of physical abuse. And if you survive that, you are 10 times more likely to have it happen again. Another example is the use of weapons. Abusers may threaten their partners with knives, guns, or other weapons, and the presence of these weapons in the home can make it so difficult for victims to escape or to even seek help. In some cases, abusers may also use objects in the home as weapons, like throwing your phone or other objects around the house at their victim. Domestic violence is a progressive behavior. It gets worse over time. Even if your abuser has never hit you before, there is a high likelihood that the abuse will escalate and will become more severe over time. Quick personal story, I wasn't abused physically for seven years, and then, well, I was. It went from emotional and psychological abuse to strangulation in the blink of an eye. And this is why it is so important to seek help as soon as possible, before the abuse becomes even more dangerous. Leaving is the most dangerous time for victims because the abuser knows that they're losing the power and the control over you. Abusers often use threats and intimidation to keep you from leaving and may even escalate their behavior if they feel like you're trying to leave. So get a risk assessment done and contact a domestic violence hotline if you're experiencing abuse. Stronger.